Good morning. I thought I would turn on the video this morning and record a little bit of how I journal in my own journals. It's really hard to share um, a lot of personal journaling that we do because the nature of what we might write or the details are so uh, personal, private, and uh, there's an obvious reluctance to share on the internet and with people who we don't know well. Um, but I thought I would take you through what I do to do my journaling and then I do have a journal that I can share with you uh, that I don't mind sharing what is in it and I can show you how I apply it. I use index cards to do a lot of my journaling. Um, when I first got into paper crafts I discovered the term ICAD which is a abbreviation for index card a day and it's a wonderful uh, tool to help you first of all be motivated with a small space to create art to try new uh, things that you might not have delved into before whether it's textiles or inks or paints or sewing, um, it, it's and, and, and it's a small area, so it's not daunting like putting together a big junk journal or, or a larger project. So what I do is I take index cards and whenever I'm tea dyeing to do uh, journals and projects, I usually throw in a um, hundred index cards at the beginning or end of my tea dyeing. You can oven bake them to get them a little bit darker or just let them dry and uh, and then I iron them to get most of the rumple out of them and I come up with this yummy vintage old color of uh, index card. Most brands will not run, the lines on it will not run when you submerge it into the, uh, the hot Lipton tea which is what I use to do these. Um, so then what I've been doing is I have this wonderful crate that I bought at, uh, I don't know where I got this one, Michael's has them, Walmart has them, um, and I just, I stained it, and then I put a graphic 45 piece of paper on the end and, and, and a little plate and handle here, and I keep my working index cards in here. So I have my graph and my regular lined cards and uh, I keep them in here so that whenever I want a journal I can just grab one out and what I've started doing is uh, making a second pile of snippets from what I'm working on just to uh, make snippet index cards and anytime I have a piece of a book page that's fun. These are some things out of a, an, an old copy of Macbeth that was falling apart that I just sewed on and it's got plenty of room to write on. And this would be wonderful to clip in almost any type of journal. I've just sewed around it and made all kinds of simple pockets and even tags on the cards themselves so that uh, they'll be ready for me whenever I want to journal with them. Um, some of them I make some bigger tabs and these are nice because when I put them in the junk journal and I attach them on with a with a paper clip to the edge you then have just added a tab to the edge of your book. You can really journal with these and put them in any book whether it's a it was created to be a, a journal or a regular book that you like to just keep things in and you can start adding um, embellishments while while you journal uh, and then most recently I've had so much fun with uh, with sari silk as tabs on these I've just added all kinds of paper punch, little squares of muslin. Sometimes I stamp on them before I stitch them on. Ripped pages um, from the edges of scraps after, after I made other things. Just tearing out words.
it's really there to motivate me to want to share with my journal more creatively. I've just taken some sari with, with some of the stitching in it and uh, put it right over the edge, little tuck spots. Just whenever the mood hits me, I sit down at my sewing machine for five minutes and I put these together. Just a few more I've got ready to go. Ah, I love that gnome picture. That was actually the tail of a fox from a picture that I put in Tracy Fox's journal. And I was always disappointed that I couldn't get the little gnome lady with her with her spider friend into that picture, so I put it on an index card. Just little pieces of map, some fun with stamping. Here's a card that I actually feel that needs to go into one of my uh, journals. Just wrote about the angry rain last week. Did a Tim Holtz stamp when I was stamping other things. So my idea behind this is whenever I'm making something, I go ahead and get out these index cards that I have handy and I just try to give them a little sprucing so that I can pull them out and use them for myself or for other journaling projects uh, when they come up. I probably did that when uh, I was stamping my coffee journal cards. Whenever I make a pocket I try to stick a piece of paper or a little tag in it because when I flip back through, sometimes I forget that there's a pocket there. So just little fun stuff. So that's what I've done to um, motivate myself. And with an index card a day, I leave my, my crate of finished cards, quasi-finished cards as far as decorating, as far as anything glue, so uh, extra creative wise, so that I can grab it. And I try to fill one out each day and put it in one of my different journals. I have several for different purposes. And I just thought I would share that with you. I have a journal that I received last year from my wonderful friend Wendy and the theme of it is uh, log cabins in the forest. She knows that my home is a log cabin in the woods and I have done quite a bit okay. I've done quite a bit of journaling uh, in this to try to collect uh, what I call homestead information. I'm a city mouse. I was raised and, and lived most of my life in either a city or the suburbs. And uh, when I came up here to the mountain a little over five years ago, I really did not know much about what I was doing. A perfect example of a little bit of knowledge is dangerous. And I have collected in various books and places all this information about everything to do with our homestead and what I'm trying to do now is collect it all and bring it and put it in one place so that I have kind of a manual because there's a lot of technical information that I will never be able to remember without a reference for it. So I took this wonderful journal and I started to transpose and I'm still in the middle of it. I've only got the first of three signatures mostly filled out but I work at it each week and I get a little more done and I thought I would share it with you. She puts these wonderful uh, library pockets and cards in the front. There's Leo and I just stamped on it and and wrote a quip about homesteading which is the act of becoming more self-sufficient. I don't know that we ever actually arrive at that destination, but it's about the journey. So on the first page, I've filled out my ideas about cottage gardens and, and the modern version of it. And on this mini page in here, I have taken one of my index cards with some stamping and 
there's an image sewed, uh, rather a piece of fabric with a great image sewed on it. And I just stitched it on as a flip and attached this with washi to make another flip. And there's still more journaling room up there. And I just put a little lace. So with the digi stamp there, there's a lot of room for journaling and, and adding in the cards. I've included some postcards that um, a lovely lady, Carol, sent me from Georgia, if I remember correctly, uh, of log cabins that were on postcards, vintage postcards. And I try to clip any uh, tags that aren't too bulky from things that I want to remember how to uh, how to feed a certain way or, or any special needs that a plant might want. On this page, around the digi, I uh, made this my water page. We have a well here. If you live in the country, you get your water from a well rather than a municipal water source. And we have two pumps in our well. One is a regular electric pump uh, that requires electricity, and the other is a hand pump in case we don't have electricity. And my wonderful husband, Cog, has fixed it so that when we, if we ever have to pump water from the well, rather than going into a bucket that has to be brought inside like they did in the old days, it will go through the pipes and fill up the tank in our basement and we can take a shower and go out and pump it again and we can run the dishwasher. So it is a bit of work to get it there. Anyways, we have a lot of technical information about our well to make all of this work. And whenever there's an issue with either of the pumps or we need to do maintenance or we're testing the water, we need to know how deep the well is, how far down the pumps sit, um, when they were put in, how old is the pump, um, where the water level is in the well. So all of this information and the measurements I can note here. And uh, I've added another index card here with the tests that we've done and the date so I can keep up with it. And I've left room so I can continue adding to this. I need to add in this year's well test results and such. And again, with this snippet index card, I've just added a little bit of um, muslin and ribbon to it. And I just clipped these embellishments right on to hold this shut. And this has got the actual little pamphlets and the specific amounts of each thing when we did our water tests. We have wonderful water here. So this is my, my water section. Here I've taken an, another index card with some washi and stamping and I stitched a Tim Holtz card on it. And these are some notes about our generator. We have a whole house generator and on the mountain we have high winds frequently. Our power goes out in 10 seconds if the power is down our whole house generator comes on and there's just a whole slew of do's and don'ts that I I constantly need to reference so I started making notes here not a fabulous postcard and I just glued this in and made it a pocket here I still can't stitch seam binding like that that's just wonderful I love Wendy's work On this page, this is about our wood stove. And our wood stove is gigantic. It heats all of the buildings on our homestead. And there are very specific things we need to do in the beginning of the season, which is um, last month, this month, when it gets cold to get the whole system going. It heats our hot water. And these are my directions and my do's and don'ts and my uh-ohs and what ifs. And uh, here I've got another index card um, about what to do if it overheats and how to check the water levels in the stove itself. Uh, it's actually a wood stove water boiler beast contraption, so my notes are there on it. On the back of this music page, which folds out, I have, rather than an index card, used a guest check to um, explain how to 
bring down the temperature if the stove starts to overheat, and uh, and then how to turn it off for the season. Okay. Index card here. I stitched a picture of our house in the snow, and uh, just made a little pocket here. So there's room to add information there too. This is where I'm at now, and we have solar panels on our house. And solar panels are very complicated. I actually have to draw a flowchart for myself. And I have started going through the, the technical uh, part of all of the boxes, the switch boxes, and the control panels that are located in our basement and in the other buildings. And I'm literally making notes on to my tea dyed index cards, just a little muslin, and putting them in this these mini pages that are sewed in the middle of the uh, signature here. So I have so many pages left. The hot water heater. I've just started expanding into this section, and and I'd be more than glad to continue sharing if anybody's actually interested in all this stuff as I go along. Um, uh, and the generator itself uh, is a whole electrical system and I need to know how to turn on and off power to the generator um, and to the solar system if we're not on grid power and on and on. So I have used various index cards to give me my cheat notes here and uh, I used the caution tape because it seemed appropriate with the electricity. So that's just a glimpse inside what I'm doing with my index cards and might give you a few ideas on what you might do with uh, one of these junk journals that have a lot of room to journal in and uh, I think even the most seasoned journaler finds inspiration in uh, in prompts or in little spaces to fill in with some thoughts or notes and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think or, or any ideas you might have related to this and uh, I appreciate you joining me. I will be back soon. I'm actually filming a new course this week. Hope to have it up before our Thanksgiving holiday um, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to meet that deadline and uh, have lots of other good things in the works. So thanks so much for uh, stopping by and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.